very good morning students yesterday you are already start with uh, that is uh, last class digestion and absorption kana in this digestion and absorption in this digestion and absorption up to the kana the stomach is completed up to the the stomach is completed see once next one now up to the stomach is completed the next one it is known as that is known as a, the wall of alimentary canal okay now the wall of alimentary canal you can observe the esophagus to the anus the wall of the alimentary canal this wall of the alimentary canal now this wall of the alimentary canal from the esophagus to the rectum how many layers are present now four layers are present how many layers are present four layers are what is the first layer serosa muscularis submucosa and mucosa how many layers are present in the the wall of the alimentary canal tell us first one serosa next one muscularis the next one submucosa the next one mucosa okay now the first one is known as a serosa is the outermost layer it is made up of the thin mesothelium epithelium of the visceral organs how many layers are present now four layers are present the first layer it is known as a serosa the serosa is the outermost layer it is made up of the thin mesothelium layers coming to the the second layer which is some connective tissues second one muscularis it is formed by the smooth muscle usually arranged in the inner circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles inner circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles see now once here can now what is the first layer serosa what is the first layer serosa the wall of the elementary canal consists of four layers okay now what is the first layer now serosa the next layer it is known as a muscularis what is the next layer muscularis outer longitudinal muscles inner circular muscles inner circular muscles the next one submucosa what is the next layer submucosa the next layer it is known as a mucosa the inner wall the inner the inner space it is known as a lumen inner space is known as a lumen now how many layers are present in the wall of the elementary canal four layers what is the first layer serosa the next one muscularis the next one submucosa the next layer mucosa next layer mucosa four layers are present in the okay now wall of the elementary canal coming to the first layer is known as serosa muscularis submucosa mucosa now this serosa is the outermost layer it is made up of thin mesothelium okay now second layer is known as muscularis outer it is known as a longitudinal muscles inner is known as a circular muscles the next one the some exception case in the okay now the one exception case in the for exception case in the stomach it is the stomach is consist of the the outer it is known as a serosa what is the outer layer now serosa the second layer it is known as a muscularis what is the second layer muscularis the second layer is known as a muscularis the third layer okay now the third layer it is known as a submucosa sub mucosa what is the next layer submucosa the next layer it is known as a mucosa you know the next layer is known as a mucosa this part is known as a lumen this part is known as a lumen you know the remaining area of the elementary canal consists of the this entire four layers but in the case of stomach we are coming to the the second layer it is known as a muscularis the muscularis contain three layers the muscularis is contain three layers what is the first layer longitudinal muscles circular muscles oblique muscles what is known as longitudinal muscles next one known as circular muscles oblique muscles oblique muscles okay now this oblique muscle layer may be present in some reason what is the some reason it is nothing but you know the stomach it is nothing but you know the stomach is contain the other layer is known as the oblique muscle oblique muscle next one the submucosa layer it is the formation of the loose connective tissue this submucosa is contain nervous blood vessels lymph vessels in the duodenum 
the glands are also present in the submucosa and in the duodenum the submucosa contain this important glands okay the glands are nothing but brunner's glands what is the glands means no brunner's glands the innermost layer lining of the lumen elementary canal it is made up of okay the inner lining it is made up of the mucus membrane it is made up of mucus membrane this layer is formed irregular folds of the stomach is known as a pingalai projection is known as a tana villi okay the irregular folds the pingalai projections present in the inside the stomach is known as a rugae what is the function of the rugae it is located in the stomach it is the storage capacity of the in the food the food the, in, the, in the stomach the food is stored in the 4 to 5 hours because of this rugae because of the rugae in the same will like it is present in the, this finger projection present in the small intestine in the it is this small intestine contain the finger like projection it is increasing the surface area and the absorption also increases absorption and increasing of surface area this will like present in the small intestine the cell lining is produced numerous microscopic the finger like projections of the rugae present in the stomach is known as a in the rugae is present in the stomach the same ventral projection present in the intestine is known as a when is called as a microscopic projections microscopic projections known as a micro villi this micro villi brush border appearance what is known as brush border appearance you know the brush border appearance the brush border appearance is nothing but brush border appearance brush border appearance what is known as brush border appearance this modifications of increasing the surface area this will like supplied with okay na supplied with see na the network of the capillaries and also largest lymphatic vessels are present in the this will is known as a lactex what is the function of this lactex absorption of the large fat molecules absorption of the large fat molecules see na this large lymphatic vessels is called as a lactels this large lymphatic vessels are nothing but lactels large lymphatic vessels located in the small intestine is known as a lactels absorption of the fat molecules the mucosal epithelium as a goblet cells see na it is the mucosal epithelium cells it is the mucosa epithelium cells the small okay the goblet cells are located the small goblet cells are located the small goblet cells are located this goblet cells how they are arrangement like this the small goblet cells are located this goblet cells secrete mucus this goblet cells secrete mucus okay see now here also located okay now the goblet cells are located is also located in the goblet cells they will secrete mucus the mucus and then goblet cells can now which is secret mucus which helps in the lubrication lubrication means you know, the food is easily pass into the one digestive organ to the other digestive organs okay now coming to the, the next one the mucosa also okay now forming glands is called, called as a stomach the inner lining of the the inner lining of the stomach it is called of the mucosa membrane this mucosa membrane secret mucus and along with the mucosal glands this glands are nothing but no? gastric glands what is it no gastric glands the gastric glands are nothing but the, the mucosal membrane glands mucosal membrane glands the gastric glands secrete gastric juices this juices are helpful for the digestion of the you know the digestion of the okay, food materials you okay, know coming to the the crypts in between the base of the villi of the intestine the crypts of the the crypts of leberkin the crypts of leberkin the crypts of leberkin name that is nothing but crypts of leberkin is nothing but it is indicate name of the scientist name of the scientist see na na between the base of the villi between the base of the villi contains na crypts crypts means na the small foldings or na folding this folding was absorbed by the crypts of leberkin observe the observed by the crypts of leber the name of the scientist and a crypt means the small folding and this folding of the crypts of leber this area they will secrete intestinal juices 
no no it is all circle for the no no the base of the intestine the between the base of the intestine is known as it the folding is known as it crypts of leberkin crypts means small fold leberkin is nothing but name of the scientist okay now all four layers is the modifications of the different types of the parts okay now coming to the digestive glands okay now what is the digestive glands okay now digestive glands along with the elementary canal okay now digestive glands also located okay now the digestive glands also located along with the elementary canal okay now along with the elementary canal okay now the digestive glands also located along with the elementary canal see here the salivary is the main three pairs of salivary glands what is the first gland now parotid glands okay now the parotid glands located in the cheeks okay in this area sub maxillary glands are sub mandibular glands located in the lower side then the next one the sub lingual glands located in the below the tongue located in the below the tongue this glands okay are situated located outside the buccal cavity secrete okay now three pairs of salivary glands are present parotid glands located in the cheeks areas second one sub maxillary sub mandibular present in the located in the lower side the next gland is known as okay now sub lingual glands it is located in the below the tongue below the tongue this three pairs of salivary glands they will help for the secretion of saliva into the buccal cavity secrete saliva with the help of so the salivary ducts with the help of salivary ducts now coming to the the next one now coming to the the next one liver is the largest organ okay now liver is the the largest organ see now liver is the largest organ okay now see now liver is the largest organ liver is the largest organ body it what is the weight now 1.2 to the 1.5 kg of the human heart okay now it is located abdominal cavity it is located in the abdominal below the thoracic is known as the abdominal cavity okay now just below the diaphragm it is known as diaphragm okay now it is a diaphragm just below the diaphragm liver is located it contains the two lobes liver is contains the two lobes okay now the liver consists of the two lobes na okay now the liver consists of the you know two lobes okay see now the liver consists of the you know the liver consists of the you know two lobes like this na liver consists of the how many lobes na two lobes liver consists of the two lobes okay now the liver is located just below the diaphragm two lobes the hepatic lobules are the structural and functional unit of the liver contain hepatic cells now it is the one hepatic lobe it is other hepatic lobe it contains you know you know hepatic cells now it contains of hepatic cells this hepatic cells are the you know they will secrete juices like you know by by this one hepatic lobules are the structural and functional unit of the liver it contain hepatic cells arranged in the form of cards arranged in the form of cards cards means you know this hepatic cells are arranged in the group manner is known as a card card is nothing but the hepatic cells are arranged in the group it is nothing but card each lobule is covered by the a thin connective tissue sheet is called as a glycans capsule now each hepatic lobe okay now it is covered to the it is covered to the thin capsule it is known as a glycans capsule you know each lobe is covered to the thin capsule is known as a glycans capsule okay now the bile is secreted by the this hepatic cells only secrete bile next one passes through the hepatic duct and is stored in the concentrated the thin muscular sac is known called as a gall bladder whenever the hepatic cells liver produce bile juice this bile juice enter into the the thin muscular sac is known as a gall bladder they will store the okay now they will store the this bile juice coming to the next one the duct of gall bladder is known as a cystic duct what is the duct name no cystic duct okay now they indicate cystic duct see no the hepatic duct the hepatic duct is formation of the the hepatic duct 
through the hepatic duct developed from the common bile duct the bile duct is the pancreatic open into the duodenum as common that is nothing but common hepatopancreatic duct common hepatopancreatic duct which governed by the is sphincter is called as a sphincter of audi the sphincter of audi it is the opening place for the okay na it receive bile juice as well as pancreatic juice bile duct as well as pancreatic duct is open into the this sphincter are opening okay na the next one coming to the next one na see here okay na coming to the see here okay na this is hepatic duct na it is the liver okay na it is consist of the two lobes na it is consist of the two lobes na one duct is origin from the one row the second duct is origin from the second row okay na both ducts can see that from the liver it is open into the common hepatic duct it is the one duct it is the second duct both duct is open into the common hepatic duct first one duct from the liver they receive bile juice from the liver they pass into the common hepatic duct common hepatic duct again this bile juice enter into the cystic duct bile juice enter into the duct of the okay no cystic duct what is the duct name no cystic duct what is the duct name for the bile juice no cystic duct what is the duct name no cystic duct this bile juice is stored into the is stored into the gall bladder stored into the gall bladder again this bile juice or the bile juice pass into the common bile duct pass into the common bile duct common bile duct next one it is pass into the okay it is open into the that is known as a sphincter of what is it no the sphincter of audi what is this one no sphincter of sphincter of audi sphincter of audi it is a opening sphincter in this sphincter opening of the so the common bile duct as well as a pancreatic duct also open into the yeah. the both ducts are open into the sphincter of audi this sphincter of audi receive bile juice as well as pancreatic juice bile juice as well as pancreatic juice sir the pancreas the pancreas is common it is act as a exocrine and endocrine and the pancreas secrete pancreatic juice that's why they indicate exocrine pancreas secrete pancreas produce okay now important hormones insulin glucagon okay now and also somatostatin these hormones produced by the pancreas that's why it is act like act like a exocrine as well as endocrine elongated Organs which are located between the limbs of the C-shaped duodenum. What is it? No, it is nothing but it is a C-shaped duodenum. It is connected to the the leaf material. It is known as a pancreas. It is not C-shaped duodenum. The exocrine secrete the organ pancreas which contains enzymes. The endocrine secrete insulin and glucagon. What is it? The pancreas. What is it? It is located. It is located. This one. So the next one, what is the mechanism of the digestion of the food material? Mechanism of the digestion of the food material. So you know, mechanism of the digestion of the food material. The process of digestion, the process of digestion, okay, it is mechanical as well as chemical process. Mechanical means you no. Know, once you are taking the any food particle the food particles are placed into the buccal cavity with the help of teeth with the help of tongue with the help of smooth muscle contraction and relaxation that is known as a peristaltic movement some mechanical activities are involved to the breakdown of the food material and also some of the enzymes secreted by the different digestive glands salivary glands pancreas liver okay no intestinal glands they will secrete different types of chemicals different types of enzymes okay no they also participated into the digestion of the food particles okay no that's the indicate mechanical parts are involved and also chemical process also involved chemical process also involved see no coming to the first one the buccal cavity perform two major function what is the first function mastication of the food 
and the facilitation of the swelling of the foot particles. Mastication means uh, first you are taking the foot particle, you are placed into the buccal cavity. You know, grinding, mixing, swallowing. You know, mix with saliva. You know, tearing the foot particles. Everything. You know, with the help of the only mouth. You know, that is the buccal cavity function and also swelling. The teeth and tongue. The teeth and tongue. With the help of the saliva, they will mix with the saliva. The food is mixed. The mucus with the saliva. Kind of lubrication of the hidden mucus is called as a bolus. What is it? Bolus. Kind of bolus is nothing but na, the food is mixed with saliva. What is it? The food is mixed with saliva. The food okay, no, mixed with the food mixed with saliva. No, no, the food mixed with saliva. What is it? Bolus means the bolus is takes place in the buccal cavity. Okay, no, the food is mixed with saliva. See, no, the food is mixed with saliva. Okay, no, the food is mixed with saliva. The bolus is the bolus is you know, see, no, the bolus is then the pharynx pharynx to the esophagus by the swallowing or also as a degradation. What is it? No? Degradation. The bolus further Okay, no? The bolus is nothing but swelling. The bolus is further passed through the esophagus. Successive contraction relaxation of the peristalsis. Contraction and the relaxation of the smooth muscle is known as a peristaltic movement. See, no? Contraction, relaxation. Contraction, relaxation. Contraction, relaxation of the smooth muscle. It is known as a Whenever the food is reaches into the esophagus, esophagus, the food is mixed, contraction, contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation, that is nothing but that is the wave like motion is known as a peristaltic movement. The gastroesophageal splinter control the passage the food into the stomach. What is it? The gastroesophageal sphincter. It is located in the gastro. Gastro means what? It is the esophagus. The esophagus open into the stomach. Between the esophagus, the esophagus and stomach contain one gate. It is known as the gastroesophageal sphincter. What is it? Gastroesophageal sphincter. Gastroesophageal sphincter, it is located. Okay, next one. The saliva secretion. What is the composition of the saliva? What is the composition? Electrolytes, sodium, potassium, chlorine, bicarbonate. And also contain okay, what is the salivary contain enzymes? Salivary amylase enzyme as well as lysogen enzyme. Salivary amylase enzyme and lysogen. This enzyme is the antibacterial enzyme. It is the antibacterial enzyme. Enzyme. It is the antibacterial enzyme. Okay, now next one. It is a, the chemical process of the digestion. It is starting to be initiated to the hydrolytic enzyme. Carbohydrates are splitting with the help of the first digestion process starting. You know, the first digestion process starting in the only you know, buccal cavity. Or, you know, buccal cavity. In the buccal cavity, it contains salivary amylase enzyme. You know, the buccal cavity can salivary amylase engine. So you know, 30 percentage, 30 percentage such as the hydrolysis to the enzymes called the optimal pH. What is the pH of the saliva? 6.8. 6.8. It is act on the maltose. Lysosome present in the saliva is act as an antibacterial agent. They will destroy the rupturing of the damage of the cell wall of the bacteria. Cell wall of the bacteria. Cell wall of the bacteria. Cell wall of the no, bacteria. What is it? No? The starch it is converted into the maltose with the help of enzyme is known as a salivary, salivary amylase enzyme. What is the pH? 6.8. Here, 30 percentage of no, the starch is hydrolyzed with the help of enzyme. Salivary amylase enzyme. Salivary amylase enzyme. No, no, the mucus no, the mucus of the no, the mucus of the stomach is containing no, gastric glands in three types of cells no, three types of the cells no, the stomach of the no, the stomach it is containing no, 
the stomach it is contain the mucous membrane the mucous membrane contain three types of the gland the mucous membrane contain no three types of the mucous membrane three types what is the first cells no mucous neck cells which secrete mucus mucous neck cells are they no they will secrete like this cells no they contain this mucous neck cell secrete mucus and also peptic cells are chief cells the first cell it is known as a what is the first cell mucus a neck cell are they will secrete mucus the second cell it is known as a peptic cells peptic cells are the second cell is known as a peptic cells they will secrete proangiogen that is known as a pepsinogen the next one the third type of cells it is known as a parietal cells are also known as a kana auxentic cells they secrete they secrete hydrochloric acid and also secrete intrinsic factor it is helpful for the the absorption of the vitamin b12 absorption of the vitamin b12 okay now it is very important now there is a parietal cells are okay now whenever this auxentic cells secrete intrinsic factor intrinsic factor okay now in our stomach they will reabsorption of the vitamin b12 what is the function of the vitamin b12 this vitamin b12 it is helpful for the okay now it is helpful for the formation of the rbc and also helpful for the erythropoiesis process what is the process no erythropoiesis process erythropoiesis means no formation of the rbc cells the formation of the rbc cells with the help of vitamin b12 this vitamin b12 absorption takes place with the help of intrinsic factor this intrinsic factor is produced by the parietal cells are auxentic cells parietal cells are auxentic cells they will secrete intrinsic factor when are they secrete intrinsic factor okay the stomach cells secrete intrinsic factor they are reabsorption of the reabsorption of the you know vitamin b12 when are the vitamin b12 is more reabsorption more number of the rbc formation takes place the process of erythropoiesis is takes place the process of erythropoiesis takes place okay now the process of erythropoiesis takes place See now the stomach. Can I the stomach? The stomach stored in the food for the four to five hours. Four to five hours the stomach is stored. Can I the food mixes through the with the help of can I gas to the stomach is called as a the churning movement of the muscular wall is called as a chyme. Can I the chyme? What is the difference between the bolus and chyme? Bolus is nothing but the saliva mixed with. Food is known as a. It is takes place into the buccal cavity. That is known as a bolus. The bolus food. For once they reaches into the stomach, that food is mixed with. The food is mixed with hydrochloric acid. It is known as a chyme. It is known as a chyme. Chyme is takes place in the stomach. Bolus is takes place in the no buccal cavity. The bolus means the food is mixed with the saliva. Chyme means the food is mixed with the hydrochloric acid. It is known as a Okay now, what are the enzymes? Sir? The proangiogen pepsinogen. It is exposed to the hydrochloric acid. Generally, the proangiogen or pepsinogen inactive form. This inactive form converted to the active form with the help of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Then okay, converted into the active enzyme known as a pepsin. Okay now, this is the proteolytic enzyme in the stomach. Pepsin. What is the function of the pepsin? Sir? Pepsin converted into the Can I proteases after the converted into the peptones and peptides? Peptones and peptides. See so, you now the mucus. Can I in the stomach? The mucus and the bicarbonate present in the gastric juice important for the lubrication and can I protect it by the stomach? What is the meaning of lubrication? Lubrication means you know the food easily pass into the one digestive organ to the. Other digestive organs. So then, and also lubrication and also protection of the mucous membrane for the excretion of the highly concentrated hydrochloric acid. See that the stomach, the stomach secrete, the stomach secrete more hydrochloric acid. This mucous membrane to protect us from the, then the the this mucous membrane to protect us from the hydrochloric acid. It is hydrochloric acid is not. It is the very highly concentrated. To open to protect from the mucus membrane. What is the pH of the hydrochloric acid? PH is the one point eight. 
1.8 okay na the alphanotepsin the renin is the proteolytic enzyme only gastric juice of the infant now this renin only present in the infant it is absent in the adult okay na this renin it is act on the milk proteins act on the milk proteins the small amount of lipase also secreted into the gastric glands okay na gastric glands okay na coming to the various Now, coming to the the next one, various, okay, now, various types of the various types of the movements that then muscular glands call as a the small intestine contraction and relaxation movements. These movements it is helpful for the mixing of the food secretion intestine. There is a facilitated diffusion. Okay, now whenever the bile juice passes into the liver to the cystic duct, cystic duct to the common bile duct. Common bile duct to the they open into the spindle of Audi, the spindle of Audi comes of the bile juice as well as and the pancreatic juice. Both juices are open into the the first part of the small intestine. It's known as the biliary. Okay, now it is the bile juice or pancreatic juice or intestinal juices. Okay, now the secretion is released into the small intestine. First one, the pancreatic and bile juice released through the hepatopancreatic duct. It is open into the spindle of Audi. The spindle is open into the duodenum of the first part of the small intestine. The pancreatic juice composition. What is the contents of the pancreatic juice? Inactive enzymes like what is it? Trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen. Next one, procarboxypeptidase. What is the composition? Amylase, lipase, nucleus. What is the composition of the pancreatic juice? Now, trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, procarboxypeptidase, amylase, lipase, nucleus. This enzymes are present in the pancreatic juice. Present in the pancreatic juice. Come on, pancreatic juice. See now, what is the composition? First one, trypsinogen. What is it now? Trypsinogen. This trypsinogen activated by an enzyme that is known as a enterokinase. What is the enzyme now? Enterokinase. Important one. This trypsinogen activated by the trypsinogen is activated by basically the trypsinogen. Every enzyme is an inactive form. Okay, now this trypsinogen is activated by the enterokinase enzyme secreted by the intestinal mucosa cells. What is it? No, intestinal mucosa cells. It is secreted by the intestinal mucosa cells. Whenever the intestinal mucosa cells secrete enterokinase, this enterokinase activation of the Trypsinogen. The trypsinogen is converted into the. Can I? This trypsinogen is converted into the trypsin. Can no, I? No, this trypsinogen is converted into the trypsin. The trypsinogen is converted into the trypsin. What is the enzyme? Can no, I? No, no, enterokinase enzyme. What is the enzyme? Enterokinase enzyme. What is the enzyme? No, no, enterokinase enzyme. Can I activate the enzyme? This trypsin. Can no, I? No, again, activation of the other enzymes. What is the other enzymes? No, no. Procarboxypeptidase and chymotrypsin activated by the trypsin. Activated by the trypsin. The first trypsinogen converted into the trypsin with the help of enterokinase. This enterokinase is secreted by the intestinal mucosa cells. Intestinal mucosa cells. Whenever the pancreatic juice reaches into the reaches into the intestine, the intestinal mucosa cells secrete. Can I? Enterokinase. This enterokinase can okay, act on the trypsinogen enzyme. Trypsinogen converted to the trypsin. The trypsin again activation of the other enzymes like procarboxypeptidase and procarboxypeptidase and can okay, I? Trypsinogen. That is the function. The bile it is secreted into the duodenum contain bile pigments. What is the composition of the bile? What is it? Bile rubin, bile overeating, bile salts, cholesterol. What is it? Cholesterol. This are the phospholipids, but no enzymes. You know the bile is the does not contain any enzymes. It contains the bile salts. This bile salts are participated into the digestion breakdown of the fat material. Breakdown of the fat material. Bile it is helpful for the emulsification of the fat. 
what is the meaning of the emulsification fat large fats are converted to the simple fats okay na the breakdown of the fats into the very the small fats that is nothing micro the small okay na micellae by also activation of the lipases enzymes present in the pancreatic juice this lipases enzymes also activate with the help of bile juice okay na the intestinal the coming to the next one intestinal mucosa epithelium cells already contain go blood cells which secrete mucus Now, intestinal mucosa, that is the finger-like projection, contains now mucosa cells. Now, this area, now this area, sir, now intestinal goblet cells. This goblet cell secrete mucus. The secretion of the fresh water mucosa along with goblet cells and also this intestinal secrete. Okay, now this intestinal secrete intestinal juices. This intestinal juices. Okay, now this intestinal juices are also present. Sexus entericus. What is the other name of the intestine? You know, intestinal juice are also called sexus entericus. What is the composition of this? And what is the name? What is the composition of the intestinal juices? Disaccharides. What is the first one? Maltase. Next one, dipeptidase. Next one, lipase. Next one, nucleosidases. Nucleosidases. Disaccharides. Dipeptides, lipases, nucleosidases. So, you know, the mucus along with bicarbonate can create protect intestinal juice from the as well as the provide. What is the pH of the provide to the intestinal? Seven point eight pH. Seven point eight pH. This all enzymes are activated. What is the HCl pH? You know, one point eight pH. What is the intestinal juice pH? You know, pH. You know, is intestinal mucus. Uh, what is the pH? Seven point eight. With the help of this pH only, all enzymes are activated. Okay, now submucosa. What is it? Submucosa of the contain. Okay, now Brunner's gland. Submucosa of the intestine contain. Which glands? Brunner's gland. They also secrete intestinal juices. They also participated into the digestion of the food materials. Digestion of the food materials. The submucosa of the. You know, it is important. No, no, the sub mucosa of the the sub mucosa of the no, no, the sub mucosa of the no, the sub mucosa of the intestine the container which glands no, no, Brunner's glands. What is the glands name? No, no, Brunner's glands. No, no, coming to the after the next one. No, no, coming to the. Sir, next one. See proteins. Sir, proteins and proteases, peptones partially hydrolyzed. Now proteins and peptones, they partially decline, reaching into the intestine, act upon the peptide. This reaction sir takes place in the. This reaction sir takes place in the intestine, but enzymes sir related to the pancreas. Related to the pancreas. Proteins, peptones, proteases. Okay now, this trypsin. Okay, now chymotrypsin, carboxypeptides. Generally, they exist in the inactive form. Whenever this enzyme reaches into the intestine, the intestinal mucosa secrete enterokinase enzyme. This enterokinase enzyme activation of the trypsinogen. Trypsinogen comes into the. Okay, now trypsin. This trypsin again activation of the chymotrypsin comes into the chymotrypsin. Procarboxypeptide comes into the procarboxypeptide comes into the carboxypeptides. It is act on the proteins, peptones, and the proteases. They produce to the dipeptides. This reaction sir takes place in the intestine, but enzymes are related to the pancreatic juice. Related to the pancreatic juice. See, pancreatic juice. Carbohydrates. Right? The carbohydrates also. The carbohydrates also. We are talking about amylase today. Pancreatic amylase disaccharides. The carbohydrate breakdown also takes place in the mouth, buccal cavity, and pancreatic pancreas. Right? Polysaccharides. Converted into the disaccharide. What is the enzyme? Right? Pancreatic amylase enzyme. Pancreatic amylase enzyme. Fats and breakdown of the lipases, which help in the bind into the monosaccharides. Right? They lead to the di and monoglycerides. So, right? Fats converted to the with the help of lipase. This enzyme lead to the pancreatic juice converted to the diglycerides and also monoglycerides. Monoglycerides. The nucleus. 
Similarly, the nucleic acids also, the nucleic acids also nucleus and the nucleases present in the granola pancreatic juice. It is act on the nucleic acid. The nucleic acids converted into the nucleotides. Nucleotides converted into the nucleosides. Converted into the nucleosides. The so, granola. These reactions that takes place in the small intestine, but enzymes are related to the pancreatic juice. Okay, pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice. The granola. These enzymes. See now. These enzymes suck us into us. The end product of above the reacts respectively absorption. The granola. Finally, steps digestion of the mucosal epithelium of the intestine. Whenever the, this end products are produced by the pancreas, the, that enzymes are takes place in the that reactions are takes place in the inside the small intestine only. But actually, is pancreatic enzymes. What is the end product? This end product again break down with the help of succinctricus intestinal enzymes. This dipeptides, you know, dipeptides. Dipeptides, 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 and disaccharides, monoglycerides, nucleosides. This all are again break down with the help of intestine. With the help of intestine. See, now, this dipeptides, see, dipeptides converted to the amino acids. What is the enzyme? Dipeptides, it is related to the intestinal enzyme. Maltase converted to the glucose and the glucose, glucose plus glucose. What is the enzyme? Maltase. Lactose converted to the glucose and the galactose. What is the enzyme? Lactase. Next one, sucrose. Okay, now what is what is the end product? Glucose and the fructose. What is it now? Sucrase. What is it now? Sucrase. Diabetic converted to the amino acids. Maltase converted to the glucose and glucose. Lactose converted to the glucose and galactose. Next one, sucrose converted to glucose plus fructose. This action that takes place in the with the help of intestinal juices. Okay, now next one, nucleotides converted to the nucleosides. What is the enzyme? Nucleotidases. Nucleotidases. Nucleosides are converted to sugars and plus. Okay, now bases. Nucleosidases. Nucleosidases. Di and monoglycerides converted to the fatty acids plus. Glycerol, what is the enzyme? Nana? Lipases. What is the enzyme? Nana? Lipases. Okay, Coming to the, the breakdown of the, you know, the breakdown of the, this all molecules, you know, the breakdown of the complex molecules you know, into the duodenum of the small intestine. This breakdown of the takes place in the, the small intestine of the first part is known as the duodenum. This all are breakdown. These simple materials is formed into the, into the duodenum and the, okay, nana? Ileum breakdown no? in the takes place in the duodenum, but the simple one absorption takes place in the duodenum and the ileum of the small intestine. The undigested, unabsorbed food passes into the large intestine. The maximum reabsorption takes place in the small intestine. You know, undigested, unwaste material, this material passes into the large intestine, large intestine to the rectum, rectum to the anus, anus to the outside the body. Outside the body. Okay, no, no. Next one. See, no, no significance. What is it? No, no significant digestive effect of the large intestine. What is the first? But, but what is the function of this digestive system? No, no. Absorption of this water, mineral, setting drugs from the undigested food. Secretion of the mucus with the help of okay, this interlining of the large intestine also contain mucus membrane. They will secrete mucus. They also help for the, the undigested food easily pass into the cecum. Cecum to the again they pass into the transverse column, okay, descending, ascending column, sigma columns, rectum, rectum to the anus. Okay, no, it is the article to be that called as the lubricant easily pass. So okay, no, next one, the undigested food, it is called as the pieces, enter into the fecal materials. Pieces enter the large intestine through the ileocecal valve. What is it? Ileocecal valve. For example, can I, you can indicate what is the ileocecal valve. No, it is the small intestine. It is indicated small intestine. The small intestine open into the the small intestine open into the you know, the small intestine open into the the small intestine open into the 
larger industrial. See now, the small industrial of it is nothing but illium. What is it now? Illium. It is indicate secum. What is it now? Secum. Okay, now. Between the illium and secum. Between the illium and secum, one important wall, it is known as the, the undigested food is passed into the illium to the secum. That is nothing but iliosecal wall. Iliosecal wall. It is located between the ileum and the cecum. Okay, now, which prevent the back flow of the fecal matter. It is temporarily okay, stored in the rectum. Okay, now, it is stored in the rectum. It is temporarily in the rectum. It is temporarily stored. The activity, the coming to the next one. Okay, this all activity, no, no, the all activity means secretion of the digest juices, contraction, relaxation of the peristaltic movement, grinding, mixing, secretion of the saliva, secretion of the gastric juices, secretion of the intestinal juices, secretion of the bile juices, secretion of the pancreatic juices. This all activities under the control of the brain and hormones. Control of the brain and hormones. The activities of the serum, the activities of the gastrointestinal tract, it is controlled by the neural and brain and hormonal action. Without neural and hormonal action, these all digestive activities are not takes place. With the help of neural, with the help of hormonal action only, all digestive processes are takes place. All digestive processes are takes place. See, the proper coordination for the different parts of the, once you observe the, any food material, because of neurons, to the sight, to the smell. Smell means all factory receptors are present in the nose. Okay, now, and also, once the food particles are placed into the viral cavity, the viral cavity is secreted. Okay, now, saliva, with the help of salivary glands, the salivary glands also activated with the help of neural, with the help of hormones. Okay, now, active stimulant secretion of the saliva, and also gastric juice, intestinal juice, are secreted by the, with the help of neurons. With the help of brain, similarly, okay, now, neural signal, the muscular activities of the different parts, muscular activities, esophagus counter relaxation, the stomach, the stomach counter relaxation, intestine counter relaxation, this every activities, okay, now, with the help of neural, with the help of neurons, okay, now, elementary canon, okay, canon and also can work neural mechanism, both the local and through the central nervous system are local hormones. You know, this hormones are arising from the brain only. You know, this local hormone, the digestive system also consists of you know, more number of neurons. These neurons are originated from the brain only. Local hormones and central nervous system hormones. And, and neurons, they are helpful for them to send messages to the different part of the digestive tract. You know, next one, hormonal control digestive carried by the local hormones. You know, this gastric and intestinal mucosa, they will secrete local hormones. They will secrete local hormones. What is the local hormones? Okay, no, gastric. What is the local hormones? No, no. The gastric. Okay, no. And also they will secrete gastric. Okay, no. And also secrete cholecystokinin. Okay, no. These hormones also. These hormones are no, really kind. Okay, no. Duocrine. Different hormones. Okay, no. These hormones also they participated into the digestion of the food materials. Control. You can have neural mechanism and a hormonal mechanism participated into the controlling of the digestive activities. You can have digestive activities. See now, calorific value. Calorific means now, the calorific values. You know, they can indicate calorific values. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins. You can have rooted for the, this one. You can have what is the main role for this one? See now, the energy required the animals is called as a the energy when from the food, it is measured in the called as ultimately form is called as a all energies. It is measured in the calories or joules or which is amount of the heat energies rise in the in our body temperature one gram of water. Okay, required for the one centigrade value is called as amount of energy. Physiologically, it is indicated. Physiologist, they indicate kilocalories. Indicate kilocalories is indicated kilojoules. 1 kilo calorie amount of energy required for the body temperature the nutritionist traditionally they refer to the calorie so always expression the joules okay, now, 1 see it is okay, now, the amount of heat liberated okay, now, complete composition of the food in the bomb calorie meter it is the 
बॉम्ब किलोमीटर में इंटर इट इज कंप्लीट क्लोज्ड वेसल करना क्लोज्ड मेटल चांबर फिल्ड विद ऑक्सीजन क्लोज्ड कंप्लीट मेटल चांबर करना मेटल चांबर इट इज द बॉम्ब किलोमीटर बॉम्ब किलोमीटर एक्सपेरिमेंट कर प्रूव ना करना द एक्चुअल अमाउंट ऑफ द 1 ग्राम ऑफ द फूड Gross calorific values of the carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. But then, no, you can you can place into the carbohydrates, you can place into the proteins, you can place into the, you know, fats. You can place into the bomb calorimeter. What is the value? Carbohydrate four point one kilocalories. Okay, no, and also what is the the next materials? No, first one carbohydrates, proteins. Okay, no. 5.65 kilocalories. Fats is there indicated 9.45 kilocalories. They are placed into the only okay now bomb kilometer. Okay now for example in our body, okay now in our body, okay now in our body physiological values in our body 4.1 4.0 kilocalories per day. Okay now carbohydrates in our body. Okay now next one proteins. Protein is also protein also. Then it is the proteins also. Four point zero. That values are the in our body. Next one nine point zero in our body one is the fats. Then this value four point one five point six five nine point four five. It is indicated in the bomb kilometer. But is the four point zero kilogram per gram. Four point zero kilogram per gram. Nine point zero. This values are carbohydrates, proteins, fats. This values only indicated in our body. They indicate that in our body. Next one, turn on. See, absorption is the process. Absorption is the process by which end products are digestion pass through the intestinal mucosa through the blood and lymph. Turn on. It is carried out by the. Turn on. It is carried out by the passive active facilitated transport the mechanism. The small amount of monosaccharides like. Glucose, amino acids, some electrolytes, then chloride ions generally absorbed into the simple diffusion. Now whenever this all materials are complex is converted into the simple materials, this simple materials are entered into the intestine of the microvilli with the help of different processes: active transport, passive transport, facilitated transport, osmosis transport, different processes. See now, what are the molecules that pass through the simple diffusion? Like glucose. Next one, amino acids. Small amount, not large amount, but small amount. Okay, now some electrolytes, chloride ions pass into the simple diffusion. Okay, now the passes of the substance make into the blood. Depending concentrated gradient, outside concentrated is more. Okay, inside concentrated is less. That's why they can move into the outside molecules, pass into the inside the body. Inside the body of the that is the micro villi. However, some substances like you know glucose, amino acids, absorb into the carry proteins. You know some of the substances like glucose, amino acids, absorb into the carrier proteins this mechanism is called as a facilitative transport can okay, for example simple diffusion means no, they are not using any carriers but the facilitative transport means no, they are using carrier proteins with the help of carrier proteins okay, they receive glucose and amino acids okay, that facilitative diffusion coming to the transportation of the water okay, the transportation of the See now, the transportation of the transportation of water depends on osmotic gradient, higher osmotic concentration to the lower osmotic concentration, lower osmotic concentration. Transportation after gradient concentration gradient, there are things that require energy. Various things like amino acids, monosaccharides like glucose, electrolytes like sodium absorbed into the blood. Through this mechanism, what is the mechanism like? Or not? What is the mechanism through the concentrated gradient? Concentrated gradient, fats and glycerols insoluble. They cannot reabsorb into the, you know, reabsorb into the in our, you know, small intestine in the body. The first, first, you know, the first, they are first incorporated the the small droplets is called as a micelle. 
the small Roberts is called as a like this uh, mycelium tree. The const the fat material as well as protein coat. Okay, that is the thing. But kind of the move into the intestinal mucosa, they are reformed into the the small protein coated with that. The small protein. So now this protein coated. It is a protein coated with the fat material. Is known as a chylomicrons. After that, they can move into the intestine of the capillaries, you know, which are transported into the lymphatic vessels. Known as a lactyls. This lactyls are located inside the microvilli. What is the function of the lactyls? You know, absorption of the large fat molecules. After the digestion is completed, this will like this lymphatic vessels ultimately leads into the you know, they open into the they open into the heart. You know, coming to the next one. This absorption of you know, this absorption of this materials, see now, absorption of this materials like different parts of the elementary canal. What is the first one? What is the absorption? See now, mouth. Okay now, what is the materials are absorption? First one, drugs coming contact with mucus. Once you are taking any drugs, they are contact with that. Mucus membrane. Okay, now and also lower side of the tongue absorption into the blood capillary. The tongue inside the tongue contain blood capillary. See, the reabsorption into the okay, now, mouth to tongue to the their absorption reabsorption into the okay, now, blood capillaries. Next one stomach absorption of the water, simple sugars, alcohol absorption takes place in the stomach. Next one small intestine. What is the organs are absorption? Now? Can complete digestion takes place here. What is the where the what is the location for the complete digestion takes place? Small intestine, glucose, fat, fructose, fatty acids, glycerol, amino acids absorbed through the mucus into the okay, no, lymphatic capillaries. I come to the large intestine. What is the absorption? Water, minerals, drugs takes place in the large intestine from the undigested food. See you know, the absorption. The absorption of the finally reaches into the tissues required for the different types of activities is nothing but assimilation. Whenever the food is absorption into the different body parts, gonna with the help of oxygen material, their parties for respiration process, they will give rise to the energy of the every body of the cell. That is known as a assimilation. Whenever the, the reaches the small materials reaches into the different body tissues, the tissues that utilize these carbohydrates, proteins, fats, okay, nucleic acids, okay, now, different body activities coming to the, the digestive based, solidified, coronary phase fecal materials into the neural reflex. The fecal matter reaches into the large intestine to the outside of the body of the rect through the rectum and anus, anus to the outside of the body with the help of neural signal causing to the organ is a removal. Then the adhesion, adhesion means uh, the fecal matter can uh, enter into the outside of the body is known as the adhesion. Adhesion means taking the food particle. Adhesion means uh, they remove to the outside of the body. Then uh, fecal matter outside the, through the opening also defecation. Defecation means uh, removal of the basement of digestive materials. Undigested materials, voluntary process called as carried by the uh, mass peristaltic contraction and relaxation. They move outside the body. Then uh, next one. See now. Okay. What is the disorders? What are the disorders of the digestive system? The inflammation of the intestinal tract, common elementary, common, common diseases, common diseases called as a bacterial diseases, viral diseases, the infections also caused by the parasite or intestine, tapeworms, roundworms. The rat worms, kind of look worms, the fin worms, the present in the stomach, small intestine, large intestine, liver, they are located in our body, they are located in different types of the kind of different digestive organs, they are located different kind of pathogens, they are located in the bacteria or parasite, other viral infection, they enter into the in our body, they cause to the inflammation, they cause to the infections. Coming to the first one, jaundice. What is the name? Jaundice. In this jaundice, liver is affected. In the jaundice, no, no. Liver is affected. And also, skin and whenever the liver is affected, the red blood cells, sir. What is the lifespan of the red blood cells? One twenty days. Before they are not complete their lifespan, before only they will destroy. 
Okay, now six to days, seven days they will destroy. Whenever the RB cells are destroyed, they are converted to the bilirubin and bilirubin. The bilirubin and bilirubin sir, okay, now accumulation more number of the bilirubin bilirubin sir accumulate into the eyes, skins. Whenever the more number of the bilirubin bilirubin sir accumulated, okay, now the eyes and skin it is look like a yellow color. Ah, green color it is look like a deposition of the bile pigments. What is the deposition of bile pigments? No, no. Bilirubin. What is it? Bilirubin and bilirubin. What is it? Bilirubin and bilirubin. Bilirubin and bilirubin deposits in the in our body. The skin and eyes looks like a yellow color. What is the color? Yellow color. Because of liver is damages. Liver is damages. Next one. Vomiting. What is it? Vomiting. Vomiting. What is the next one? Vomiting. It is the ejection of the stomach contained through the mouth. It is reflected back. Okay, back to the stomach to the esophagus. Esophagus to the pharynx. Pharynx to the outside the body. Reflected back okay, to the mouth. This reflex action is controlled by the vomiting center. That is known as a medulla oblongata. What is the name? Medulla oblongata. It is the part of the okay, no? hind brain. You know, what is the part of no? the hind brain? The hind brain is contains no? you know, pons velouri, medulla oblongata, cerebellum. Okay, no? It is under the category of hind brain and medulla oblongata. This medulla oblongata it is controlling the vomiting center, the vomiting sensation, you know, the feeling of the nausea before the, before the vomiting, you know, the rotation of the eye. That feeling is known as a nausea. Is one as a nausea. Next one, diarrhea. There is nothing but loose muscles. You know, abnormal frequency of the you know, bowel movements. Abnormally. Normal means every day. One or two times means okay. We are a fecal matter. You know, abnormal continuous movement. You know, the liquid particles passes into the you know, anus to the outside the body. You know, that is a loose muscles. You know, increasing in the liquid of the fecal matter is known as a diarrhea. It reduces the absorption of the food. Whenever continuous passes into the outside, it is not the absorption capacity also to reduce. Whenever the absorption is reduced, no food materials reabsorbs into the blood capillaries. They are not reached, the food particles are not reached into the different body parts. The parts, the different body cells, tissues, organs, they are suffering to the lack of food materials. We are the very weak in condition. At the time of the diarrhea, we are very weak in condition. At the time of the diarrhea, we are the very weak in condition. That is not very weak condition. Next one, constipation. Now, constipation means no, no, laziness. Laziness. What is the meaning of constipation? Laziness. Okay, no, no. Laziness means no, no. in the constipation, the fecal matter retain no, no. three, four days. Okay, no, they are deposited into the into the pond. Okay, no. At the bowel movement of the occurs irregularly after three days. Okay, no. Generally, every day the fecal matter is in the outside the body means no, we are more active. Two. Otherwise, the fecal matter deposits in the colon for the two three days. After three four days, the fecal matter enters into the outside inside the body. Into the outside the body means it leads into the laziness, unmoody conditions. Laziness and unmoody conditions. Coming to the next one, indigestion. What is indigestion? In this condition, the food is not properly digested, leading to the feeling of the fullness. Okay, now, once you take in the any food materials, now, that is. The, Chicken biryani, mutton biryani, or spicy foods, the food, the, the stomach is fully packed. Okay, now, that is not digested properly. Not digested properly. This causes indigestion, inadequate. The enzymes also not secrete proper manner. Whenever the enzymes are not secrete proper manner, the digestion also not takes place. Digestion not takes place means uh, the food is uh, okay, now, fullness of the stomach. Okay, now, the food poisoning. Or, okay, now, we are eating the energy. We are competing. Like chicken biryani means we are eagerly waiting. We are taking more. Mutton biryani means we are taking more food material. The food is not properly digested. The enzymes are not secreted in proper manner. Okay, now, that's why you are eating. Our heating are spicy foods. Okay, now, it is caused the food poisoning also. It leads into the indigestion. The food is not properly digested. The food is not properly digested. See, the next one. What is this one? No? 
kerana tan tan means daily deficit of proteins and total calories of the very many underdeveloped countries now south and also west indies there are different kenya there are different south the nigeria south east asia the south the america the west and central africa they suffer to the protein and energy malnutrition they suffer to the protein and energy malnutrition because of their lack of the food okay now the politics and also the government also they are not focus on the on the food and energy malnutrition and the particular country like south southeast asia south okay now, america then the west and the central africa may be affected to the population during the drought and famine drought means no low rains then low rains means no low food low food means it is the famines like common you know you know and political turmoil and you know, politics also they are not politics in okay, government they are mp mps and the pms they are not focus on the particular you know this is just you know this is happening in the bangladesh during the liberation war the ethiopia during the several drought in the mid 18s you know 18th century bangladesh and ethiopia kind of book between the war between the food and war between the water war between the politics now we can separate you know the many people they suffering to the lack of food lack of food families may be affected to the infants and children to the kind of the families of protein energy malnutrition may be maximum affect to the marasmus and the cassiopeia marasmus and the cassiopeia coming to the marasmus what is it now marasmus you know marasmus see you know marasmus you know the marasmus the marasmus see marasmus is produced by the different proteins and calories you know marasmus marasmus it is the deficiency of proteins and calories it is the deficiency of proteins and calories only cash your cut it is the deficiency of the deficiency of the proteins so they will ask deficiency of the proteins you know deficiency of the protein and calories marasmus okay now marasmus deficiency of the proteins only cash your cut keep in your mind that is important you know marasmus marasmus deficiency of proteins and calories cash your cut only deficiency of the proteins deficiency of the proteins you see the marasmus it is found in the infants less than one year babies now less than one year babies now it is less than the this babies now cash your cut can more than one year more than one year babies now more than one year babies now more than one year babies year less than one year babies the marasmus is the deficiency of proteins and calories and this one is the deficiency of the bony proteins replace the early kana pure proteins and calories this happened to the mother then at the time of the child birth the mother is not given the proper milk it is not deficiency of the impaired replacement of tissue proteins emasculation body of the thin limbs skin become dry thin wrinkled growth and weight loss also decline okay now coming to the even growth and our brain also not developing proper manner okay now coming to the what is the symptoms of here can it results into the turn up it is a high calories deficiency and also low proteins and like marasmus in the cash your cut so the muscles thin limbs failure of the growth and brain development but unlike marasmus fat still under the control of the skin moreover the extensive edema and swelling of the body parts Swelling of the like six pack and family packs because they are because of the because of edema and swelling the more fluids because of lack of kind of proteins in their body, lack of proteins in their body. Thank you very much.